Tonight, we'll take a closer look at the Malone burglary. And we'll learn what it takes to be a part of the band. Stay tuned. Troy Trojan Vision News starts now. From the High Definition Production Center of Troy University's Broadcast and Digital Network and Troy campuses around the world, this is Troy Trojan Vision News. Hello and welcome to Troy Trojan Vision News for June 16, 2015. I'm Christy Henderson. And I'm Samantha Kokan. Thank you for joining us this evening. In July of last year, nearly $30,000 worth of computer equipment was stolen from Malone Hall. The case has still not been solved one year later. So now the university police is looking for some help. William McCarthy explains. Troy University Police Department is looking for the public's help in solving a year old burglary that took place in Troy's Malone Hall. Basically, somebody entered one of the computer labs on campus and stole um, about 15 uh, computers out of the computer lab, Apple computers, that uh, cost about $30,000. So we really want to try to recover that money for the university and bring somebody to justice on it. And the person they are looking to bring to justice is the man seen in this surveillance video from the night of the burglary. McCall hopes someone will recognize the suspect or his vehicle and help him close the case. Uh, he's a heavy set black male, looks like he has some long uh, kind of dreaded hair. Um, and uh, he came into the building three different times that night uh, carrying a suitcase and a backpack and, and he packed these computers in to this um, luggage and hauled it out and made three different trips back and forth to campus in that vehicle. And so we were able to identify the vehicle he was driving which uh, was a Jeep Cherokee and we were able to you know, get a fairly good shot of him, uh, his body, and, and his, uh, but not a good facial shot. So that's what we're really looking for is that somebody that can come back forward and say, yes, I know that car and it belongs to this individual and then we can put a face with that individual. The reason this video has just come to light is that McCall sought out the assistance of the group Crime Stoppers, which offers rewards for information on cases to help get them solved. Well, you know, personally, Tony Garrett, who runs the Crime Stoppers in Montgomery, was a good friend of mine. And so it made it real easy to go to Tony and ask him because we'd run into a basically a, a standstill in our investigation. Uh, we feel like we know who did the crime. Um, we feel like we, we know how the crime was committed and we know all the details of the crime. We just don't have that little piece that we need to pinpoint and say, yes, he's the one. And so we were just looking for some help from the public and thought uh, maybe somebody could actually see the video and see what happened that night and that, or maybe even see the car and could, yeah, lock, lock it in for us and would, would jump at that opportunity to get a reward to help us out. William McCarthy, Troy Trojan Vision News. If anyone has information pertaining to the case and would like to share it with the police, they are asked to call them at 334-670-3215. There could be a possible reward if the information leads to an arrest and prosecution. This week, Troy University's Sign of the South is teaching the skills it takes to be part of a marching band to high schoolers on campus for its annual summer leadership camp. Victoria Sabanina gives us a look. One, two, three. Troy University Music Department is well known for its merchant band, The Sound of the South. On Sunday, high schoolers and middle schoolers came to Troy University for the summer music and leadership camp where they can practice for five days. There's a variety of things from contraband to drum majors, color guard, dance line majorettes, and it's basically just a lot of fun for them to do for Sunday through Thursday. And um, at, on Thursday, we'll have a big performance of everybody from the whole week. And then from there, they'll go home after that. So it's a lot of fun. It's a great opportunity for them to learn. And you really, when you're at that age, coming to a university with all these people around here, from Dr. Walker to all the staff here has been helpful. They'll take them out and we'll actually work on them one-on-one -on -one to help them get better for their, when they go back home. Troy University professors and students are deeply involved in the organization of the camp. The guests play different games, communicate, and look around the campus. Some of them are considered to come to Troy University later as an actual Trojans. So it's a great a chance for us to show them the campus here and the new, new facilities that we have, this amazing banner we have here, and it helps them kind of figure out, hopefully, that when they come here they're not so nervous for a new campus, and they get to walk around and see the campus, and when they come back for honor bands or for visits, that they know where they're going and that they feel more at home here at Troy University. So that's what we want them to do. As a lot of my friends were coming out, I just heard that it was a really great camp to come to. So I get to learn new stuff, meet new people that I never would have met without coming here. 
Last night we had a movie, today we're having a dance. So yeah, there's it's a lot of fun all around. I learned how to become a better leader, how to use more air, how to use better air quality. Beside all the studies and entertainment, participants of the camp have a task to put together the whole concert in four days that will take place on Thursday. Victoria Sabinina, Troy, Trojan Vision News. The camp will wrap up on Thursday with a performance by the campers in Trojan Arena starting at 1245. And now taking a look at news from around the state. Authorities have located the body of a man who is believed to have drowned in the Coosa River near Gadsden. Etowah County authorities say the victim was recovered early today. A man identified as 30-year-old Christopher Mostello was last seen Sunday afternoon while in a boat with friends. A tire manufacturing company is planning to expand its plant in southeast Alabama. Michelin North America officials say the company will increase production of light truck and SUV tires at its plant in Dothan. Officials say the company will create 40 new jobs. And Selma City officials say the 75th anniversary celebration of the Edmund Pettus Bridge has been pushed back because of a scheduling concern. City Councilman Susan Keith tells the Selma Times Journal a celebration that was scheduled for June 19th at the foot of the bridge has been pushed back to June 30th. 